everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about Exter. I love these wallets. As you know, extra has been sponsoring my channel for a little while now, and they've quickly become my favorite wallet, my favorite laptop case, my favorite bag, everything. They have a lot of great stuff that you can take a look at. The reason Extra is so cool is not only because they have really, really nice products with like legitimate, sustainable materials, but they also have RFID protection. If you guys don't know what that means, I know a lot of wallets say that, and a lot of wallets do have it, but it means that people can't come by and scan your wallet and take information from it. So it protects it from the inside out. And it's really cool. Extra also has really great things like these trackers that come with their wallets. Now this one is amazing because all you have to do is throw it in the sun for a couple hours and last months. I have used this tracker so many times because I always lose my wallet. I leave it somewhere and some, and even with the app, it'll tell you that you left it behind. So if you leave your wallet somewhere, it'll tell you where it is. And it acts just like an AirTag basically, which you can also get with Exter. You can get the extra wallet with the AirTag holder, which is great. Nice and sleek, smooth, it's beautiful. These are the wallets that your boyfriend, your husband, even yourself, you must have. These aren't just made for dudes, although they are slick, but they're great for just holding cards. Most people don't carry a lot of cash anymore, but if you did want to carry cash, they also have little pockets to carry cash and business cards and things like that. Plus the haptics. You can't go wrong with the haptics. I love the haptics. One of my personal favorites is the weekender bag, which you can see here. Just, it's a great bag. I do a little bit of traveling here and there, and I don't want to take a lot of stuff. I don't check my bags on planes because you know how I feel about that. So the weekender bag puts shoes. If you're on their website, you can see that they have a key tracker that goes in this nifty keychain that they have. I like this little thing because it just, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just nice. Their stuff is just classy. You feel like a baller when you walk around with their stuff. And so obviously because they're sponsoring this channel, you guys get a sweet deal, which is like, right? So head over to extra.com slash the dad challenge, use code dad to get up to 35% off today. So many people who follow me have bought these wallets and have nothing but great things to say about the wallets. They are amazing. Father's Day's coming up, Mother's Day's coming up. You don't even need to have a day coming up. Just get your husband or your boyfriend or yourself one of these wallets. And if you've got a wallet, get another one or get one of these cool things or get the weekender bag or get a laptop case. And because it's modern and fresh looking, it just makes you look modern and fresh, which is, there's nothing wrong with looking modern and fresh. Again, thanks Extra for sponsoring this video and sending me some amazing products, which I actually gift to a lot of people and I think it's amazing. So extra.com slash the dad challenge, use code dad, get yourself a sweet deal. Thanks again. Let's get to the video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me. Today we're snarking on Alicia again. Look, I know some stuff has gone down over the past couple of days with Alicia and everything else going on with Anne's mom and everything else. A lot of people got upset with me for reading some text messages on my channel. Um, I did take those off about an hour after because you guys are right. People that were calling me out weren't just my haters and they, they'll they call me out for anything. Like if I say anything, they're looking to call me out and that's fine. But when I hear a lot about people that I've seen in my comments who I trust and people who comment all the time who are generally positive, when they say something, I listen. Okay, and so as soon as I was listening, I'm like, I couldn't deny the fact that I did not get permission from N to post those text messages. I did get it from the mom, but it didn't negate the fact that there are two parties that I needed to consent to that. And so I took it down about an hour after the video went live. It takes YouTube about two hours or three hours to cut it. So obviously a little bit of views got it, but I did take it down. I don't think N would be upset that I shared those things um, just because of sources I have. But at the same time, I do agree with people that I should have got her consent to post those things. And uh, it was wrong of me to do it. And so I took those things down right away. Not that that's going to appease my haters or anything like that, but I think people know and realize that when I've done something wrong or something kind of out of sorts for me, that I'll look, I'll, I'll own up to it. Okay. And it's true. I should not have been taking advantage of those text messages. Like I did. Um, I did offer to pay for the lawyer for her, for N's mom. And some updates on that are kind of crazy. N's mom says her lawyer is doing a great job. She doesn't need any money. She doesn't want anybody's money. She doesn't need any monetarily monetary help. She's just trying to get herself clean and she's just trying to get her kids back. And in that video, I also st stipulated that. And she said the same thing. She might not be ready to have him back. She just wants him to safe place. And that place could be with Alicia. As long as Alicia is honoring what she said she honors in a video she did in the past, she's like, if the kids don't want to be on the video, they don't have to be in the video. Well, we know that that's not true because in this video here, and I'll show you quickly. Um, obviously I've, I've blanked out this, but Alicia was, some people were laughing at her live because she was drinking tons of water here. <laughs> She's finally pounding water, which is kind of good. Good, good, Alicia. Although that's, you know, that's the least of your worries. You're still kind of a dingbat. So I'm glad you're drinking water though. But, um, and did come on the, the live here and I'll show you, I'll fast forward it to live because so I haven't, up and honestly, I'm going to blind react to this because I haven't seen it. I have heard some comments though, about how there's some stuff that went on that you can hear. And so we're going to try to hear those things for ourselves. And so again, you cannot deny 
that N does not want to be on camera and that N's mom doesn't want her to be on camera. And N's mom came out and said that publicly for everybody to digest and said we could use it. And Alicia, after all that, regardless of what you think, regardless of how you feel about me or anybody else or her mom or anything else, Alicia was explicitly told by the mom, who still is the mom. Alicia's not an adopted parent of these two children. She's just a kinship placement, a place for them to land until mom gets better. That's what this whole thing is about. People seem to be missing that part. But even after all that, Alicia still decides to bring her alive because Alicia has to mitigate the disaster that has happened because of all this conversation. But let's look at it real quick. Apples and cashews. Sounds like the perfect snack today. Alrighty, here is the finished board. Ready? Okay, it's first dibs. Now, I heard someone say, are you ready? And now I think a lot of people said, are you ready? I don't know. I can't hear it definitively. Now, N is coming into this video. We all know that N's coming in this video because Alicia wants N to be in the videos because Alicia needs to prove that N is still home. Okay? And a lot of people are like, did she run away? Did she do this? Did she go away? It doesn't really matter what happened. Okay? We know that N doesn't want to be on camera. That's all that really matters here. Okay? But Alicia doesn't can't help herself. So she does this, and it's so see-through the way she does this. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today for a snacker to board live. You oh, it's that it's that you know that it's that face. She's doing this because again, the thing is so crazy is that there are so many people against what Alicia is doing. And I think the, the community at large for family vlogging, Alicia is probably the top one who gets chastised for it all. For sure. I cover so many on my channel, but Alicia is kind of the number one right now that's getting called up for what she's doing. Now, I think Crazy Pieces and Crazy Middles and all the other big family vloggers that use uh, adopted kids for the are just as bad. I honestly think that. Alicia's a little worse because she doesn't, per you know, it's weird because in a certain way, she doesn't portray the perfectness like the other ones do. She'll show you the raw, real, you know, wiping your boogers and wiping the counter, uh, not having a clean house and feeding her kids bullshit type of thing where we know Crazy Pieces, Crazy Middles, they also feed their kids a bunch of bullshit. They just won't show it to you. She just shows it to you. But they're all just as bad, everybody. They're all the same. Because, again, at its core, is the exploitation of adopted children. And exploitation of any children is wrong. But is an extra special piece of garbage that will take children that are not theirs and exploit their trauma and stories online for views and clicks. Okay? You're strong. You're beautiful. Oh, yeah. She got her nails done, too. We did not mean to match, by the way. That was oh, yeah. unplanned matching. She said, what color do you want? And we both said white. <laughs> You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. So Alicia wants you to be like, look, it's all good. And obviously I've blanked out N's face there. Not all good. That child is, did not go to school, is not in school. That child did not go to school. She was there because Alicia needed to be, to, to Alicia, again, used her for the prop for the video to say, look, all good, everything's good. When we have our eyes to see. Then Alicia obviously made the post about, hey, N's taking a social media break. Well, why didn't you give her social media break now? Why did you force her to be on this video, but then later say, well, she's taking a break? You know, I'm not even sure N knows the conversation that's going on online, okay? And I'm, I'm hoping she doesn't, okay? But the rock and the hard place, the rub here, is that none of this conversation ever happens, everybody. And all those people throwing blame at all the other commentators and me and everybody else and at uh, N's mom and everybody and kind of... Really weirdly leaving Alicia out of this is really weird to me, especially when it comes to the Doherty, when it comes to Doherty Reddit, right? I had to start my own Doherty page. This is Doherty does an exposed. Go ahead and like that page. But you got this weird dichotomy where people are starting to be like, oh, yeah, Alicia's all good here. She's the least of the worries. You got to be out of your effing mind to say that because none of this conversation is happening, right? Without what Alicia did to these children, we're exposing it. Now, some people might not like it, and like they might think we've gone too far, or whatever the case may be, and that is your opinion, and that's fine. You're allowed to carry that opinion. I won't hold. You, I won't hold it against you, okay? But none of this is possible. None of it is. We won't even be having this conversation at all. Nobody knows who these kids are, especially N and D, without Alicia fully exploiting them online. And we've shown that video multiple times where she's leaving the courthouse and she's like, they're orphans. And then two seconds later, she cannot wait to put them on camera and reveal them like she's doing an unboxing. Okay, so spare me this bu this uppity bullshit from all these people who are out there who have covered Doherty Dozen in, do in dozens, if not hundreds of videos, and then all of a sudden they draw the line 
and, and you're calling others out for it, spare me, okay? Because you're just as bad. Because, because I don't think that you're bad, but you seem to think other people are bad. All these people are like, Josh, you're so bad for doing what you did. And then you do the exact same thing I do. Okay, I don't think it's bad, guys. I think what we're doing here as an ultimate end goal and a mission. Okay, I'm not, I'm not just doing this for the sake of doing it for tea and gossip. Because in the end, when N and D leave, and I hope they do. I hope her mom gets clean. I hope their mom gets clean. I hope she gets them back. I hope she lives a very fruitful and good life with them. I hope she doesn't exploit them online either. Okay, but once all this goes down and they're gone off the internet, I will literally delete every mention of them on my channel if I, if to, to the best of my ability, they will cease to exist on my channel. Okay, yes, Doherty doesn't gets me the most views on my channel. It absolutely does. You can go look for yourself. Okay, but that's just because they're the hot topic. Tomorrow could be another hot topic. Then the next day could be another hot topic. First, it was Micah. Then it was Jess fam. Then it was this. It ebbs and flows, guys. This is the way this industry works. Okay, we call out the top tier exploiters because it brings the most exposure to the topic. But if Alicia decides she's going to take her kids off the internet and give them the private lives that they deserve, I will take every effing single video and post I've ever made down about them. I've always said that and I will always honor that. Okay, I don't know if the other channels will do that, but I'm going to do that. And I don't think they need to. I'm just saying that's something I've decided I'm going to do. Spare me your superiority complex. Because if you think I'm bad, you're just as bad. But I don't think I'm bad, and I don't think you're bad. That's what I'm saying. So, again, I'm glad we covered all that and we did this. It's really important we continue to talk about Alicia and not let it get clouded by people being a bunch of dingleberries. Because there literally exists on the internet, especially on Reddit, a Reddit snark forum with 25,000 snarkers. Okay, people who spend their entire days in those threads and those boards. There's a thread about me. There's a read about me with people who spend enormous amounts of time watching me and talking about me. Okay, people think that I spent I'm chronically online. I'm not. I sit in my studio here, my mom's basement. Okay, whatever you want to call it, garage, whatever you want to call it. I do this video. It takes me about two hours. Then I'm off. I am not chronically online. I spend some time on Instagram and I message people back. It's probably, and I think in, in the end, a good school day. Like my kids go to school. I drop them off the bus. I do my stuff. By the time they get home, I'm finished for the most part. Okay. So I get what you guys are saying, but I'm not like these other people. Okay. And so many people get upset with me because I don't do my research or anything, but I'm a blind reactionary commentator. I don't watch the videos because my first impression is what I'm looking for and what a lot of you people come to the channel for. And I appreciate that. So I've got, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Let's continue to snark. Everybody's like, you gotta watch the new haul. Everything's kind of changing in Alicia's world and we can watch it in real time as it fluctuates and ebbs and flows and what she's gonna do with it all. Again, Alicia, I know you watch my stuff or your sister, whoever, somebody watches this, okay? She might not have time to watch it because she's chronically online. But uh, just so you're aware, like recently Alicia has not been actually putting the kids out there as much, a little bit more on TikTok than she does on YouTube and she still does it, but not as much. She's not sharing as much personal information, which is great, but she kept, she's obviously kept all the old stuff up because her view counts are massive still. Okay. She has not stopped growing and her view counts are still in 49 to 50 million just on YouTube a month. That's crazy. Her dislikes are still really, really big though. Just this most recent video was released two days ago and it already has 3.5 thousand down votes compared to 4.8 thousand up votes. And I'll add mine to that. Um, and only 90 thousand views after two days, which is, I mean, that's a lot. If I get 90 thousand views in two days, I would be like on cloud nine. Okay. I, I, I get, I get anywhere between 30 and depending on what I'm talking about hundred thousand views within like the life of the video. Okay. So she's still doing really, really well, but she's getting called out more and more and more because she's got eight ninety thousand 90,000 views on a video with 297 comments. People are like, you got to watch this new video because the title of this video, instead of saying something that she always says, which is t feeding a t family of 12 Costco hall or family of 12 shopping hall, it's large family Costco hall. She's changing the numbers, which is quite odd, but we like snarking on Alicia going shopping. It's fun, so let's do that. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Hi. Family Dozen, and this is my <laughs> weekly grocery haul, plus my monthly Costco haul, all in one. Um, I'm at Costco, this is gonna be a long one, so like, yeah, it's just, just we're, we're here. We're here for the long haul today. It's not actually a long one though, because we've seen her do 50 to two hour videos. It's only like 22 minutes long, so. Not that long. She's editing? I have a lot to get. Our, like, we have some empty shelves in our pantry. No, you don't. You damned liar. No, 
Why doesn't she ever do like a, a pan of her pantry? That's it's odd that she never be like, okay, here's our pan of our pantry. Here's what we need to get. She never shows your pantry, everybody, because if you saw it, you would be flabbergasted. There's she doesn't even know what she has in her house. She probably has so much shit that she's bought, not just groceries. I'm talking Amazon hauls, mall hauls, everything. She probably has stuff she has not even unboxed. She bought a year ago or more. There's so much stuff that she buys, she doesn't even know she has it. That's a hoarder. It's never gotten like this. We've just been so busy. So I gotta go stock up. Nan and Papa are at the house. Bless them. Pray for them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness for Nan and Papa. Anyways. Nana, you son of a bitch. Good for you. Excuse me while I take a yop break. It's not yop. And if you call this yop, I don't think we can be friends. Because here's why. Yoplate. This isn't this company is not called Yoplate. It's Yoplate because inside is yogurt. And so why would this be Yop and not Yop? Give me Yop, me mama smooth. Yop, me mama give me Yop, me mama. Okay. Thanks. Like people, I know that the the inventor of a GIF calls it a GIF, but he's wrong. It's a GIF. Graphics interchange format. But first, coffee. Yeah, I know. All right, here's my list for this week. I did go to Walmart yesterday just to grab the stuff for um, Around the World Night because Wednesday night I do Around the World Night. I made food from El Salvador. I'll post that later. So I don't have to get... You can't cook for shit. So why are you cooking shit that's hard to cook? Okay everything on this list but most of it i also have to get like bottled water paper towels um all of that kind of stuff oh you don't so let's go i would love to just put, get a number of the amount of plastic forks knives paper plates and bowls that they've gone through in the past couple of years i like i'm talking in the hundreds and hundreds of thousands the waste that comes out of this house i mean can you you can recycle paper plates and plastic forks all right Which i highly doubt they do Hey, cart. Cart win. Do you find a louder one, please? All out. I forgot Costco is always cold. Uh, You're cold. Cold hearted. Burn. Okay, paper towels. First. And then the bottled water's down there. Two of those. Let me grab. You gotta wipe your nose and wipe the counter off with something, I guess. Ziplocs while I'm here. Do you use Ziploc? What does she use Ziploc bags for? Sandwiches, I guess. I the gallon ones. We still have sandwich bag size, though. What do you need? A, what do you? You don't eat your leftovers. Don't even eat the normal food that you buy. <laughs> you need. What do you? What's the? What are those for? Here we go. It's gonna be like t five cases each. It's beyond me why she doesn't just get a water delivery service and get a water cooler. We have a water cooler here because the water where I live is hard. It's actually gross. The water here is gross. So what we do is we get about six bottles of water every other week and we go through them. The kids love it. My wife loves it. My wife is very picky about the water. My wife only drinks water too. Like just, she's a water connoisseur. She only drinks water. And we came from Ottawa and Ottawa actually has really, really good tap water. Like their tap water is so good. I don't know. The water here is garbage. Needs us to say, all you have to do is have a couple of water coolers around the house, two or even two or three, and I'm sure she, I think she does have one anyway, and just load up a water cooler and get everybody to fill up the refillable water bottle. That's it. You don't need to do this, and you could save money. I'm not saying it's expensive, because it's not that expensive, but at the very least, you're saving a ton of waste. Now, I get a, I get bottled water once every six months, one case of that, and it lasts me a very long time because if I'm going out, running or pickleball, I grab a bottle of water sometimes, right? Um, but I also recycle and I also like having emergency water in my vehicle. So there's always a case, a small case of water in my car, just in case. You should, and anyway, everybody should have a small case of water in the car for emergencies, just saying. So I'm not saying you shouldn't buy bottled water, I'm just saying this type of family, there's other ways to do it. And she has been called out for this so many times. 
and she just has to make a few changes to make herself appear better. She doesn't want to appear better for certain things, but also, but then for other things, she does want to appear better when she brings N into the video. It's weird, right? <laughs> Is she gonna wear the tights from now on? Is that what's happening now? No more ripped jeans? So <laughs> she wears like chunky runners too with her, with her tights. I think Alicia has huge feet, like massive feet. Maybe she just has a really big, big toe. You know what I'm saying? If her thumb is what it is, maybe her big toe is like. <laughs> oh, I should go get that thumb. That reminds me, I got a couple things in the mail. I keep having, I haven't unlocked. Someone sent me something from Korea. I'll have to show it to you after if I remember. And someone sent me this. Josh, well, this definitely goes down in history as the weirdest thing I've ever sent to anybody. I actually have a prosthetic thumb. And when they were making my mock-ups, they gave me these, this monstrosity. I have a much better one now. You have a prosthetic thumb. That's pretty cool. Um, and so this came from Jess Vash, who's on YouTube. So if you're in the chat, thank you so much. I'm going to try it on now. I have a prosthetic thumb. When we opened this, my wife was like, what in the hell? I was like, don't worry about it, mom. So this is a real prosthetic finger. I don't, it's not a thumb, but it's a finger. Wow. So here we go, everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome to... Oh my gosh, let's grab some piney apples. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Thank you very much for this prosthetic thumb. That actually, does it have real hair on it? Oh, it's just from the back. That's crazy looking. It looks real too, right? Anyway, that's awesome. Thank you for that. The creepiest thing I've ever been sent, but also funny. Saw it. <laughs> I'm now gonna do some parody videos with that. That's insane. Like, clearly kids do drink water, which is great. But they go through all of that in a week? And all the juice that she buys? These kids must be pissing every five minutes. At least they're hydrated. Oh my god. One week! Okay. That was my workout for today. Spoons and Heavyweight forks. spoons. Heavyweight. Holy shit balls. Imagine your life is a perpetual picnic all the time. It's just always paper plates. And I've said this before. It's just. Ugh. Oh my god. But she spot thousand forks and a thousand knives and spoons. A thousand! Just cons consider the thumbs for a second. But consider this. That big box she's picking up right there is literally, at the end of the day, waste into the environment. Like you pick that box up, and at the, the time it's done, that's exactly what you're throwing back in the environment. Okay, now for plates and bowls. Do a lot of Americans do this? Because I don't know anybody who does this. Have you ever seen them use a bowl at the house too? Like again, she makes all these breakfast things, but they're eating cereal. That's who doesn't like a big old bowl of sugar in the morning? Man, you know what I found that was a little bit weird? Okay, so we went on the cruise, right? And we have Fruit Loops here in Canada, and you guys have Fruit Loops. Your Fruit Loops still have color. Ours don't. Not as vibrant anyway. It used to be vibrant colors because of the way they use the dyes. Canada changed their laws for some reason, and our like our Smarties and our Fruit Loops and anything that had like bright dyes was regulated. And now our Fruit Loops they don't taste the same and they don't look the same. Looks matter, right? They look looks totally matter. So I just I thought that was cool to say. I don't know why I brought thought. I don't know why I thought about that. And our Smarties are the chocolate ones, guys. It's like Smarties. 
No. Our Smarties are like your M&Ms, but we also have M&Ms. Your Smarties are like our Rockets, which are little sugar things, little sugar pucks. Our Smarties are delicious, and if you win a prize, you get a box of Smarties. If I have my shipper, if my shipper has a bunch, she always has stuff. So our Smarties are really good, but they used to be bright, and now they're not bright, and they don't taste the same. F you, Smarties. <laughs> The waste. Holy shit. And cups. The cups get me. Why do you effing need cups when you have 1,000 bottles of water and they have refillable water bottles? Can you not just wash cups? Can we can we be real? She doesn't want to do dishes, but just cups? Just cups. Just cups. Just open your dishwasher, throw a bunch of cups in. Cups. Just save the environment for a little bit. Freaking climate terrorists. You know, like Greta Thunberg and all her friends protesting outside of her house pretty soon. Oh my god. You could re why don't you reuse those? Those are reusable. It's because they just, soon they're done, the kids throw it in the garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Fun. That was our fun. Some garbage bags here. Get the get the contractor size. Extra large. Yep. Don't sing. Don't you dare sing. You know how I feel about that, Alicia. Stop it. Stop it. Or I'll sing a song. Do you really want me to sing a song? I think I might be good on this card. I'm gonna go put it up front. Let them know I'm here. Getting a big haul and get another pallet. 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 Oh, wait, I need Dixie cups. For what? Yeah. What do you need Dixie cups for? Who's here? <laughs> Don't. They have to carry. Thanks. Shoot. Because nobody uses them. Who uses a Dixie cup? Put a plastic... Put a cup, like just a normal-ass cup, in people's bathrooms if you needed to swish. You don't need Dixie Cups! More waste! Should have gotten those at Walmart last night. A loser. Mm, okay, well... Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Something I can grab on a mini haul. Yeah, I don't see them. Okay, why do you cut they this part out? They have Dixie to-go cups, but I'm, when I say Dixie Cups... Sorry, that was probably confusing. I'm talking about, like, the little cups. Does anyone else just call them Dixie Cups? Yeah. Because... This is heavy. Let's go put it up front. <laughs> okay. Pellet tool. Let's leave that up front. Holy shit. Okay, I let them know I'm gonna be piling up some flatbeds so nobody restocks them. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's bad too. Hey, <laughs> okay. Costco is ready for summer. Stuff. Salt free snacks. Good luck. Okay. I don't need like half of Okay. This stuff. I got it last night, but the other snacky grocery stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be like a Why? Easter's not for a month. A month okay, away. The reason I come to Costco is because we love their tomato their brand of tomato products. And we're nearly all out. Tomato paste, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. What are you making, man? I would, I would, be, I would be like, okay, if Alicia said, hey guys, we're preppers, then we'd be like, oh, this makes complete sense to me then. But she's not a prepper, obviously. Oh my gosh. Just one thing of Mending a booty. As much as the others. I totally forgot I need pastas. We're out of that too. Well, pastas? Ask them. Beep, beep, beep. Spaghetti. They just have thin. What's wrong with thin spaghetti? Get thin spaghetti. It's good. See, like regular spaghetti. Just get thin spaghetti. Guess Who cares? Thin. 
That's okay. What are you talking? The way she talks to Cameron, it's like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Alicia, I just think that you're silly. You're silly. She gave me about three of those, I bet. I love these pasta trio boxes. So let's get seven. Cook, let me see. Are these two pound boxes? No, these are one pound boxes. So I gotta get two of these. Grab some Parmesan one here. All right. No, no, I have something to hold my list now. She definitely has three of those at her house, 100%. Also, let me get the corn. And green beans. Nobody's eating that shit. Stuck. <laughs> 16 thousand pounds of pasta, one thing of green beans. All right, I'm right by the breads, so I'm gonna grab those. I did not like Wonder Bread last time I got it. It's so crumbly crummy. That's what you fed the homeless people though, so that's nice. That's nice. Messy. I'm gonna see what else they have. Okay. On down here. They don't have I'm it. I'm gonna grab tortillas. James is into wraps now. And it looks like I'm gonna get, I know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise you here. But I'm gonna go with honey wheat, I think. Oh, somebody's listening. It's still not a good bread. That's not the good one. Get the 12 grain, like that dense bread that's like three pounds for one slice. Just made of like bird food. It's so good. And your kids aren't gonna eat that shit. Bread. Let's try this nature's. They have buttered bread? I'm gonna get honey wheat and I'm gonna get. Butter bread. What is butter bread? <gasps> I want butter bread. Try that this week. Is that what I think it is? Like buttered bread? <laughs> oh yeah, very good. It's probably good, okay, right? Let's move on to snacks. These things are so good. My <laughs> thing, I'm good, and I'm gonna eat them. Chicks mix. Chicks mix. Chicks mix. I get triggered now by the sound of plastic bags on camera because of her. And she does it on purpose because she thinks it's ASMR. It, I, I hate it now. Oh no. Your buttered bread fail. Yepples. How are we on cereal? I think uh, we're still good. I don't. No. She's just doing, is she doing a healthy haul right now? She's trying to show us that she does feed her kids healthy food. She's still good on animals. This shit's gonna sit in the garage for uh, years. Crackers. Yo, get the Oreos. What? Still so good on Ritz crackers. I am going to get some Lucky Charms because there's a recipe I'm gonna make with them. Of course you are. Oh, sweet box. Okay, let's go over to the snack aisle. I'm gonna play Frogger to get across here. You want some? Here we go. Some chips for Zoe. So Zoe eats that entire box of chips in a week? It's healthy. Random chips for the kids. Ah, uh, popcorn is so good. I never had those. Are they good? Pirate's booty. A lot of people have never heard of this. It is... It smells like pirate's anus. That's why they haven't heard of it. It didn't take. The fluffy, cheesy, delicious. Pirate's asshole. It smells like the booty of a pirate. Arr, me booty. Way to describe it. Goldfish. I described it. For free, she prefers these instead of chips in her lunch every day. Mostly for James, but the other kids like these too. So I'm gonna get a bunch because we're all out. We are like all out of, yeah, it's just. Holy shit with the chips and one case of corn. Bottom of the barrel at our house. My kids have been like eating the bottom of the bin snacks. Which Can't have that. Those bins needed to get emptied out. Lights. I bought those, they're not good. They're not, my kids don't even eat them. I bought the birthday cake ones. My son loves birthday cake Timbits because it's the only ones he likes. He doesn't eat, he doesn't like them. 
And then my son is a connoisseur of muffins. He enjoys banana muffins. They're his favorite. But them shits he didn't even touch. Bree, Bodhi, and Dash have been eating these a lot lately. Why does she always tell us who's eating what and who wants? Just get the shit and walk out. Their snack, like the kids pack a snack every day for school. No, you pack their snack. What? What? What'd she just say? So the kids get the lunch that you made them, which they don't eat, and then they pack their own lunch, which is just probably a bunch of bullshit. Pringles and muffins and shit. You know they're like a kid like James who's a big boy. He needs to eat a lot of food. He's That's it. He's just a big kid. The lunch that she packs him is the same lunch she packs her six-year-old. Okay? James is probably like, okay, I'm taking 18 box of Pringles too as well because I need to eat food. No one ever comments that she feeds her giant kid who is probably well into 300 pounds and then her kid who weighs 60 pounds to feed the same lunch. No one ever says that. It's really weird to me. What else? Let's get gum while we're here. This has been a go-to in our house lately. Ooh, these look really good. Hershey's chocolate tastes like shit, so don't eat it. Like, if you're going to get real chocolate, Cadbury. I don't know. You guys have Cadbury's in the States? Because Hershey's is ball sack. Cadbury's is where it's at. I should have ate breakfast before I came. I know. I forgot to get Gatorade. Um, I'll get that one. Don't forget the Gatorade. Next. Flatbread. Um, flatbread three. Shoot. Soup. Okay. I'm going to go back there with the next flatbread. I promised Jason. So... Let me get this right. You're going to buy a whole shit ton of chips, right? And then you're going to get these. Organic Omega-3 Deluxe Mix. Everybody's going to be like, what the hell is that? No thanks. You kids, Alicia. And I, maybe, and you know what? I hope that you are changing their diet, not just for the sake of the video. But it's going to be really hard for them to get outside of the diet that you've fed them for the past two and a half years that we've seen. Okay? You've locked them into something that's going to be really hard to break. They all have sugar addictions. All of them do. Because just of what you feed them is pure sugar all the time. That's a highly addictive substance. I should know because I'm addicted to sugar. Let me grab some of these. These look really good. Fruit snacks. Candy, 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 candy. One case of green beans that no one's going to eat. Box is busted. Let's get this non busting up box. You're a busted box. Sorry. Slight burn. Holy shit, lady! More Nutri Green Bar. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. These look good too. Mini fruit bars. Yes. Those do look good, actually. I'm not going to lie. Is that yeah. Kirkland brand? All right. I don't want to forget to get this. We're all out of allergy medicine. Not a good thing when you live in New York. Not a good thing when you live anywhere with allergies. Okay. I'm going to leave that up. Pirates, yes. Pirates. Pirates. You're blocking the toothpaste for people. You're going to rip that shit. Okay. I'm going to go back and get Gatorade. Then... Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to get at Wetlands. Okay. Oh, I just grab the pallet! Let's get your outfit. Let's get another flatbed because I have to go back and get the Gatorade. Flatbed three. You're a flatbed. I'll have to show you guys the Easter outfits I ordered. For what? They go to church? If Doherty does go to church, you know these people are judged so badly. Um, okay. I'm my Gatorade sugar and more sugar. They're not drinking as much Gatorade because they shifted over to that Prime drink. I had to order it on Amazon because it's really hard to find right now. Prime. What's Prime? Oh, Prime Hydration. Oh, it's Logan Paul? What the hell? Why would you buy his shit? Oh, you should probably just scoop it for an advertisement there. Is that what's going on? Don't buy shit that the Pauls sell, okay? It's probably poison. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping they'd have that prime drink here. Don't. 
don't buy shit from the Pauls brothers. Those guys are a-holes. Don't see it. Like, also not been drinking as much Sunny D either. Let's just get one of these. You see that the post that's going around all the threads. But Sunny D comes out with a, uh, like a White Claw style thing. <laughs> Everybody's like, let's just new drink. Guaranteed she's got a couple cases of that at home. I feel like Alicia's a little bit sad that she got called out for drinking around her kids with FASD because she absolutely loves to drink. Um, she might like the flavors or whatever the case may be or the buzz she gets off or whatever. But I feel like she thought it was cool before and she said she stopped drinking, which maybe she did. But I feel like she definitely is trying that Sunny D shit. You know she is. I would like to try it. I don't drink. Okay, I need Breeze apple juice. Costco's apple juice is shit. The juice boxes, not the other juice. Um, we don't, again, Canada has way different stuff than you guys. In this box, so we'll get that. Can't get milk at Costco. Oh, Slim Jim's sulfur snacks. Alright, meats. I don't need that. I don't need that. No, I do need that. No, I don't need steak. I got that yesterday. Why is it on your list then? Um, okay. Well, let's get the produce. Why do they always put the cakes with the produce? Like, you're trying to eat healthy. No, you're not. Stop lying. Did you just say you're trying to eat healthy and then have an entire cart full of sugar? Is that what you just said? I'm trying to eat healthy. You got freaking every sugar snack available. But those are probably delicious. Carrot cake. Oh my God, I love carrot cake. Look, way to my heart is banana bread and carrot cake. Okay. Nobody in my family eats carrot cake. Nobody does. I don't, and I don't like, I don't, but I don't like pumpkin pie. I never eat pumpkin pie. So the trade off is my birthday, I don't get the cake I want because it's really not for me, it's for the kids. But oh my God, I love a good carrot cake. Mmm, carrot cake. It's vegetables, it's good for you, right? You're like, now I want cake. Oh my God, I'd want those. It's a mind's game. Whoa, <laughs> Let's that's a big some thing. Strawberries. How much is that? Really good. Oh my gosh. Those do look good. How much? I want to see. You know, nobody eats them anyway. Who cares? Holy shit. Blueberries are good. I love berries. Did you know that strawberry is the only fruit with a seed on the outside? The more you know. Oranges. Oh, Mandarin. Your oranges. Yeah, apples. Get some apples. Get some tomatoes. Oh. Tomatoes. What do you do with those? Do you put them in food? You just eat them like just pop. I love tomatoes, so I mean, I pop a tomato with some little salt on it. Um, do you know what? Growing up, poor story time. My favorite poor meal, like quick meal, Wonder Bread, Miracle Whip, slice of tomato, salt and pepper. To this day, okay. Mm. I still eat that shit. Not Miracle Whip, though. I use Hellman's. But apparently, people were telling me I should try. Is it Frank's or is it Duke's? Duke's mayonnaise. We don't have that here, so feel free to send me a small jar of Duke's mayonnaise, and I'll tell you if it's good. Where's the apples? Apples. Why am I not seeing any apples? Apples. Those are potatoes. 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 Here's what I like about French fries. 
And I'm surprised. I thought this was. I always have these ideas going through my head of like I've always wanted to do food truck, but I now know that being in food business is like you're not going to make any money. But I would do it just for fun. But hear me out. French fries, though, you know the best French fry that you get out of any French fry, no matter where you get French fries. The best French fry is the flat end long French fries, right? The best McDonald's French fry is not the corner pieces, the jagged edges. It's the long, thin, two square corners French fry. So hear me out. You just cut a potato into a perfect rectangle, then make perfect French fries. With the rest of the stuff left over, you can cut that up and make hash browns, okay? So there's no waste. But you just make perfect french fries every single time. Would that not be amazing? Like have a food truck with like burgers and whatever, but like perfect fries, right? Don't steal my idea. It's my idea. Because when you imagine just a bowl full of perfect french fries, <sighs> I'd buy them shits. Okay, they told me the apples. Yeah, that, that cooler. Let's get a watermelon. You can't lift a watermelon. That's a huge watermelon. Hello. What does that look like? Boops. Ball. All right, uh, honeydew, okay. No, you don't eat this shit, you liar. Such a liar. It's starting a melon lately. Those also look like boops. Okay, I'm in the cooler for the produce. Apples. Yeah, apples. I love apples. Hmm. You know they have cotton candy grapes. Do they have cotton candy apples? I'd be all over that. Mmm. I love yop. It's not yop. These look good. <laughs> Apples are getting expensive, man. Bag of apples where I'm from is like six dollars, seven dollars. Grapes. All right. Okay. All right, moving along there, crust bucket knuckles. I'm on my way to check out. I'm gonna get the rest of my things. Ooh. I'm gonna get oh my! I'm actually, yeah. It is a very long line today. All right. And you're, you know, imagine walking up to Alicia's three flats of food and be like, I'm like, God, it's her again. Ugh. I'm bringing these all over to check out. <laughs> what my kids eat today, sugar. <laughs> Scaring the kids with your thumb. Imagine the cash back she gets on her hole. Holy shit. Right in the flatbeds. Flat. Okay. Oh, when I lose my, my truck. Okay, they're right there. I'm gonna pull up and load everything. I'm gonna put my coat on. Andrew. You didn't put your coat on. My coffee. <sighs> My hair is kind of doing its own thing this week. It's not really it's, uh, okay. the rules. No, the rules. No, nothing's listening to the rules. <laughs> Your whole everything has forsaketh the rules. Holy shit, look at that receipt. All right. How much? 2200. It was $1,146.71. Oh. The heck was so expensive? You don't even look at the prices? You idiot. I feel like I didn't get any like huge things. You have 3 flats of food, dickhole. Little things what? add up, you know. Little things. <laughs> Imagine me like, I don't even look at prices. What costs so much? Imagine that privilege that you have. Holy <laughs> shit. I'll show you. Oh, that's the Holy shit, man. 
There's a lot of t- holy shit in one week. Eleven hundred dollars. She shows the last four digits of her credit card, by the way. Wow. All right, let's go load up. Okay, I got it all in. You don't even try to load it nice. It is not very um organized, perfectly lined up, but it all fit. My van is full, so I'm gonna go home, unload, eat some breakfast, lunch. You can eat breakfast and lunch? Okay. Uh, and then head out to Wegmans. Yay, Wegmans. For the couple things I need. I'm stopping at Wendy's drive through Promised people. No, you said... Go at home, Wendy's. You're in dickhole. You're about to drive home with $1,100 worth of food, and you're going to stop and get fast food first? Good. Does anyone else spend $1,000 at grocery shopping and then stop at a drive through No, because nobody has the shit kind of money you have. Nobody's this irresponsible. Just get the Baconator meal with a high orange high C. Baconator. Man, that's a lot of... I couldn't even eat a quarter of a Baconator. That's... And Wendy's is good. Their burgers are good, but their Baconators are a little bit much. And then just a hamburger meal with a Coke, please. And a Ayanda, chicken nugget, Ayop. happy meal, or sorry, kids meal. This drive-through like lane thingy isn't big enough for my van. So why'd you go there? Oh, it's to pack up. Okay, <laughs> hey, you're funny. Hit the shit, hit the shit, hit the shit. That'll be $200. Oh, mini backpack. Like, it's in my car still. Okay, I'm going to check out a Costco. Oh, I got it. All right. That's someone who knew her. Got lunch for the people back home. I'm going to eat. Your I'm not baconator? Sure salad, yeah. One of the salad. salads we got at Costco. You're such a liar. You're gonna drink coffee and probably eat a handful of M&Ms. What about the Wegmans? Okay, we all just had lunch. I tried the Greek salad. It was awesome. Uh, and one of those protein bars. So good. So, anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go because I have a meeting today. And I'll show you, I'm gonna make all the kids unload everything when they get home from school. And then I'll show you later what it looks like. But for right now, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for coming shopping with me at Costco. You're you strong, smell, you're, you're dumb, and you I love, hate you. you belong, love so me. You. Yay. That's just Nana in the background. Nana, you son of a bitch. You know I, did I see Thank you there. You, what dish is everything you use is plastic. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the doctor. Shit. Anyway. A little bit of snark. We haven't had that in a little while. People are like, Josh, where's the snark videos? There you go. Hope you fully enjoyed it. Don't forget to head over to extra.com slash the dad challenge. Use go dad to get your wallets today. Also, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing and incredible. Take a huge, deep breath. <sighs> thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being amazing. Thanks for coming here along this ride. And, uh, you know, I am listening to your comments. If I've done something wrong or if I've done something that kind of goes against what I usually say, I appreciate you calling me out for it. And I hope that you guys can take what I said at the beginning of this video to heart because it's true. And I have learned. Um, but I'm never going to stop fighting for these kids. I'm not going to do it. I don't care what people want. I know that I know that the, the, the place is divided right now, but I don't give two shits. I will not stop until the rules have changed and these parents are shamed for what they have done. Right? And so thanks for being here with me for that fight. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. I will see you tomorrow.